Hail, hail troops. Uh, it's Monday, or it's actually Tuesday now, just after midnight, 17th of July. Right. This is Mike Lad 1888. Just putting another wee podcast together here. Nah, this one's called Internet Bampots. We have one. Uh, obviously so, considering the circumstances of the last four months. Uh, with regards to the defunct, the deceased and the dead, Glasgow Rangers Football Club. Uh, it is a new dawn and it's a new era in Scottish football. We have rid ourselves of the most disgusting and despicable institution ever to claim to be a football club. Uh, and like I say, it is a, such a fucking great day. Well, I'm not saying it's a great day, but a great, a great victory overall for a lot of people. Um, and I'm sure there's more to come, more investigations, more, more heads to roll. Uh, we'll be at the SFE boys. Uh, your David Murray's, your Mister White's, uh, other directors and other managers, etc., who are involved with BBTs, etc. They're all still to be exposed, and they will. And they'll get what's coming to them and to me that is some serious fucking jail time uh, and it will be well deserved anyway folks uh, I'm I'm just going to rant on for a bit for 10 minutes I'll try and keep it to 10 minutes if I can uh, uh, once I'm finished this is going to be the end of it as far as me mentioning Rangers again, the, the Parasites UK as I like to call them, Rangers FC, in 73, 2012, deceased. Uh, Newco, Sevco, 1588, a, a Celtic related podcast or like some, no podcast as such, I'm doing a radio show now, now on Spreaker under the same moniker, a Mark Lad 1888. Uh, I'll maybe throw one of these out and again. Uh, to be honest, I don't have much reason because what I say, Rangers are dead, so it's going to be more a kind of the show is going to be more kind of a radio type show with match reports and music, uh, Irish Celtic music, etc. I um, won't put opinions on the the, the games. I probably put them out maybe every three weeks. I think if I was saying every fortnight, I'd be stretched out a bit. Uh, so I'll get, obviously, that that kind of level of time, I'm going to have maybe four games to report on. Um, and obviously put some, some, some tracks and that together as well. But anyway, getting back to this. Um, the Huns were liquid, well, the Huns were administrated, obviously, first. They were liquidated. Uh, and then finally expelled. Uh, 35 of the 42 clubs, clubs Germans in Scotland basically stood up to the disease and parasites and eradicated them. Uh, they're gone, they're no more, and good fucking riddance to them. Uh, all I can say as well, we're playing a friendly against Madrid. The zombie Huns will be at Peter Heath in, in the first league game or the second league game. Or the first league game, I don't know. Uh, you, you can't really make it up, but it's just a fucking fairy tale story. It's a fairy tale ending as well. Uh, we're, we're, we're rid of them for at least three years, uh, at least. But I, I would say uh, five years is maybe a, a reasonable estimation. I would say for them being at, at the SPL because. Uh, They've obviously got these embargoes with signed players, and I, have to, I don't think they're going to think, find it as easy as they seem to think. Uh, the, the division three maybe, but two and one, I think they'll struggle. Uh, I have to laugh at the knuckle dragon fucking moron fans and their, their scant claims of a team, or the first his, team in history in Scotland winning all three SFL divisions <laughs> and then winning the SPL. <laughs> Uh, who the fuck do you think they are? <laughs> desperate words, desperate people. Um, 
the, the transfer uh, embargo will stand. These, these fucking people, they're, they're muppets like, they've not got a clue. Uh, they'll be lucky to even get a team put together on the park, to be honest, and <laughs> it's just laughable, man, you read the papers. I mean, we're going to get some good fucking comedy for these guys for a good few years. Uh, and uh, don't even think that when that, that they get back to the SPL, that that's the end of it, as far as we're concerned. We, 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 we'll we never let these bastards forget what they've done. Uh, they, they drag that boy to the fucking abyss. Uh, them alone, nobody else. Uh, it'll not be forgotten, let me assure you that. It doesn't matter when they come back and who they come back as. He, the internet ban ports are one. We all contributed in some way to sending these unwashed fucking parasites, UK Rangers, uh, out of business. We, we contributed to that, killed them off. Uh, I'll certainly be pissing on the grave of the Huns for years to come. I'll uh, be enjoying that. As for Save Co. 1580 or The Rangers is what they're going to be called. It'll be The Rangers versus Peter Heat. The Rangers versus whoever. I don't even fucking know half the teams in the division. Cove Rangers or well, they're not even in the fucking division. It doesn't matter. I don't care who gives a fuck. It's not any interest to me because we're never going to be there. Uh, but that's what they're going to be called. And that's what it should show on the screen. The Rangers. They're not Rangers. Rangers are dead. Buried, finished, gone. Uh, what I say, they might have a different name, and they might have no fucking trophies to their name, but they're still the hate-filled fucking cavemen that he's always were. Uh, playing in that shit stadium, in that shit blue shirt, singing the same shit songs. But just remember this, you cunts. It's 93 now to the tick to the Celts, to the champs. You have no trophies. No trophies. Zero. And there'll be soon be trophies getting stripped off your old fucking moniker as well. So effectively but in the next six months Celtic will become the most successful Scottish team in football history because you're gonna lose a minute, at least five trophies. League titles and at least a couple of cups to us. So get it right fucking up you uh, anyway, like I say, it's over for the Huns. I've no really any need to mention them again after this podcast. To me, they're dead. That's it. End of. It's going to be better things for the for our own team for the, the new campaign. Uh, I'd just like to finish with saying thanks to all the group supporters on my group. Uh, no SPL for a liquidated Rangers FC. Of course, all the other groups, forums, podcasts, blogs, Twitter, Facebook, eh, everybody done their bit, including all the chairmen, eh, the Scottish clubs who contributed and voted uh, and, and, and listened to their fans, to be honest, eh, and putting this one to bed. Uh, all I can say is shame on Kilmarnock. I can they reneged on the vote, but still... They, sh- they should have voted no. Shame on Kilmarnock. Shame on the other five clubs eh, who, for the SFL, who were going to vote them in to the SPL one. Shame on them as well. Eh, they'll certainly get their come up with. We all know who they are. They're not going to get boycotted anyway. So, eh, justice, justice has been served. Everybody's happy. Let's move it. Move it on now. The new season, through the corner, two weeks. Uh, and let's look forward to it. Okay, this is Mac Lad 1888 signing off. Uh, God bless. Hail, hail. <laughs>